wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Brenda D. Rose Report. I got a uh, letter I got to read to you here in a while, and I'm going to voice my opinion. I'm going to give you some news first, but uh, it's kind of disturbing in a way. But anyway, did anybody notice the, the 3D imaging uh, that was going on uh, on Monday's Raw between the matches when they were saying, you know, the matches were coming up, they usually have the two people up there. But anyway, it's kind of get, got kind of blurry and whatever. I think that was a little bit of uh, 3D imaging that they were doing, and I think later Raw may end up coming up, or SmackDown, they could be coming up with a three-dimensional show. Also, I noticed, uh, did you notice Bud Aldridge, uh, Aldridge when he introduced his wife to, uh, to uh, I forget who he was talking to, I thought for sure it was Mae Young. All right. Anyway, Raw did a uh, 3.4 uh, cable rating, it looks like, up from last week from 3.1. Uh, in the first hour, drew a 3.37 with an average of uh, 4.8 million viewers. And the second hour goes up to 3.5, which is always supposed to lead up to the major main event. Of course, there's always two main events, one in the middle of the show. Um, anyway, and up to all close 5 million viewers. Uh, and the AM Raw did a 0 0.84 with about uh, all close to a billion. Uh, noted previously, by the way, that uh, Punk did not, uh, CM Punk that is, did not attend the weekend house shows despite rumors uh, Punk was not taking off the show because of an injury. He was taking off because he wanted some time off. Let him go home for a while. All right, and an updated uh, earlier injury uh, post that uh, I had on here. About John Morrison, it sounds like he wasn't hurt in the match with Vladimir Kozlov. Uh, after all, a match that only lasted about a minute or two, though. Uh, Morrison was seen outside the arena before the show, uh, greeting fans, and he was noticeably, I guess, limping around and uh, moving a little bit slower than usual, so they probably just cut the match a little bit short. Sorry. Former uh, WWE star Kevin Thorne, he was at Impact Zone, and according to sources within the company, uh, his presence in the venue could mean he may be working a, t you know, a taping tonight. Uh, he's had several tryouts before, but was never hired. Former uh, TNA knockout Roxy. Uh, she was also in Orlando and was expected to work the weekend uh, taping. She was released from TNA this past March after uh, having her ankle broken in two places in December. So that is show you. Don't get hurt. You'll get tired. All right. No, As noted before, People within the company is kind of looking uh, in TNA, looking to cut as many wrestlers from the TNA roster this week uh, to save money. However, the wonderful, the pleasant, the beautiful Dixie Carter huh, is fighting to have these decisions as she doesn't want people losing their jobs. Dixie realizes that uh, tough times with the economy, especially in the wrestling business, and doesn't want anybody without work or pay. Mm. Why can't she be president? As noted before, TNA will be taping Impact tonight, uh, tomorrow night, and Wednesday night. Rather, last night, tonight, next night. This was a post from yesterday. Anyway, qualifying matches uh, for TNA uh, King of the Mountain match uh, will begin, uh, I guess, at the taping last night in Orlando, and King of the Mountain is going to be uh, returning this year to the June Slammiversary. All right, here's the the thing I wanted to put on here. It's I, I just don't like this, but uh, anyway, Connecticut Hartford Current uh, had published a lengthy article uh, sent in by Michael Benoit, the father of Chris, uh, late Chris Benoit, uh, urging voters to uh, not to send Vince. Uh, Vince. Uh, let me get this straight now. Okay, Linda McMahon to the U.S. Senate in November. Benoit holds the McMahons responsible for dozens of young wrestlers' death uh, we've seen in recent years, and Linda has to use blood money to fund her expensive campaign. You let me know on your comments uh, what you think about this. Uh, I, I'll leave mine here in a minute. Hope I get through all this. What, we got five minutes, six minutes? It says, my son, this is what Chris's father uh, wrote. Uh, uh, my son, Chris Benoit, 40 years old, was one of WWE top superstars in June of 2007. Our lives changed dramatically when he uh, tragically killed uh, his wife, son, and himself. The press uh, jumped on steroids as the actions, but tests were shown that brain damage in the form of chronic trauma, uh, as 
or CTE is what it's called. Not steroids was respo responsible for our loss. The CTE caused uh, rep caused by repetitive trauma to the brain can uh, bring on serious disorders and loss of emotional control, uh, addictions to uh, drugs, alcohol, depression, aggr uh, aggr aggression, and violent behavior. Most people in wrestling uh, view uh, it as fake and the McMahons push that theory uh, to avoid regulations. But uh, in its lust for higher ratings and dollars, WWE began demanding that the performers use more weapons, dangerous stunts, and uh, wrestling matches, in the wrestling matches. Although the matches are rigged and scripted, the harsh physical abuse and uh, the, for, uh, the in the form of blunt force steel chair shots to the head and power bombs uh, through the tables onto cement floors are real. We believe that this change in the industry is responsible uh, for the majority of deaths and uh, experiences in the last 20 years. Uh, Michael Benoit says that despite the fact that wrestlers are individuals who make up their own choices in life, the McMahons have set up a dirty, dangerous enterprise where the deck is stacked against the men, putting them li uh, putting their lives on the line to uh, line the McMahons' uh, pockets with money. You might say that these young uh, wrestlers make up their own, uh, you know, make up their own choices, and uh, which is true. McMahons entice them with prospects for fame, uh, wealth, uh, glory, fortune, you know, that few achieve. Uh, if this were uh, any other business or sport, it would be uh, there would be congressional hearings, laws passed to uh, reform this dirty, dangerous enterprise. The McMahons have steadily uh, held that the wrestlers are just independent contractors and are not entitled to health care benefits, pensions, uh, pensions, or un uh, unifications, union unionizations. Put it that way, to uh, represent their best interests. This is how Linda McMahon made money that she is using for the Senate race. This is how she ran her business. This is a true character behind the fancy Hollywood advertisements. Uh, I pray to the people of Connecticut not to allow her to buy her way into the world's most distinguished legislative body. That's sort of the synopsis of what he said. Uh, no matter what, this is my opinion now, no matter what, Chris Benoit killed himself, killed uh, his wife, killed his kid, Vince, Linda, Stephanie, Shane, uh, Ted Turner, uh, Dixie Carter, uh, the people they wrestled, nobody, nobody did that but him. I don't know what the problem was. If there was an ongoing something inside, uh, it should have been taken care of, and the family should have noticed it. But apparently they didn't, or ignored it. And I put the blame back on the family. They should have been, had more control over their son than anybody in the world. They should know how he is, what, it, what was going on. And you can't tell me just all oh, one day, bam, you go and kill people. That had to, something had to been going on for quite a while, been ignored by uh, the family. If it was ignored by uh, the wrestling uh, organization and they knew something was going on, that's totally different. But because of, uh, you get out here with jackhammers in the street, those people end up with stomach trouble. They end up with uh, their heart, their body is just, you know, shaking. They know that. And they get paid good money for it. It's nothing out of the way. Police, they wear protective vests because they get shot at. And they know they're going to be getting shot at. That's the odd part about it. They go out and put themselves right into it. They do it for the public. They do it for themselves. They do it because maybe their you know, family always have done it for years. I just don't believe you should not blame anyone except Chris. He did it. He needs to be held responsible. And uh, uh, as far as um, you know, Linda running, it, it doesn't have anything to do with politics. It's not blood money. It's not whatever you say. I don't know whether somebody may have... Never know. Somebody may have paid Chris's father to, to do, you know, come out with that. But I just take your own responsibility. If somebody set fire to something, they did it. Nobody else made him do it. My opinion. I gotta go.